Sambar Tu from Free FinCal and today let's look at ICICI Prudential Multicap Fund and ask if this multicap fund can be the only equity fund in our portfolio. I thank Mr. Ravi Karan for suggesting that I do this uh, fund uh, for review. If you look at the ICICI family of mutual funds for something that was started in December 1994, this fund only has about 3,600 crores. The reason for that probably is because it never got its, uh, it never got going. Somehow something didn't click for the fund. It kept changing its uh, its name. It kept changing fund managers and so on. So if you look at its uh, history by studying fact sheets, you can find out its history. It started as something called a uh, IPRU uh, uh, power fund that could invest in core sectors and associated feeder industries. Uh, it, it, it was largely a um, um, large cap and uh, a mid cap kind of fund only about 10% mid cap and what was interesting was that it all it had a mandate to invest in 95% in equity at all times it was a fully invested equity fund by april 2011 it became icici top 100 top 200 fund with uh, the nifty as the benchmark uh, and uh, by october 2015 uh, the, uh, it became from top 200, it was now, it is called the ICIC multi-cap, which is its present name. And its, pro its product label was uh, something that could invest in core sectors and associated uh, feeder industries. Again, that. But uh, uh, it, only in 2017, the benchmark was changed to BSE 200. And uh, until April 2018, the mutual fund was only a large and mid-cap fund. On, only recently, uh, about a year ago, it uh, shifted uh, to large, uh, a little bit of uh, small caps was added and it became a multi-cap uh, uh, kind of fund. But its bond allocation increased from 5% to maximum of 35%. So it could invest up to 35% in bonds. Uh, so the equity was on, the minimum equity is only 65% necessary. If you look at the, so the fund managers, if you look at the fund manager uh, history, if, uh, we can do that in Morningstar. So uh, if you, this is the Morningstar page. If you go to the overview tab, you can see the fund manager uh, timeline here. You can see that the fund, fund uh, kept changing its managers and Shankar and Arain uh, uh, took over only uh, in uh, October 2018. And the since inception performance against BSC 200 does not look too great at uh, varying better index. But we have to dig uh, closer. Uh, so if you go to, back to the risk and risk and uh, rating tab in Morningstar fund page, you can see here. Uh, I have explained these before, but what I'm interested in here is this downside capture. So this downside capture means that the fund has only captured 83% of the benchmarks losses. So if the benchmarks loss is 100%. Uh, it has only captured 83% of that. So or let's say. Uh, if the benchmark fell by 10%, the, the fund uh, fell much less than that. Only 83% of that 10% was the benchmarks, was the uh, fund's fault. So lower the downside, the better. And the fund has always had very good downside protection. That's over three years or five years, you can see that the fund has got about 78% downside protection. And 10 years, it is about 89%. So this is a hallmark of this fund. It's a uh, nice conservative fund. Um, it always falls less than the index. That's uh, that's something that investors who are, who are scared of volatility can consider. So now I've compared the uh, ICICI multi-cap versus uh, Nifty. We are looking at, uh, this is five-year returns, and we are looking at every possible five-year return since April 2006. So that's 1,998 uh, five-year returns. And you can see that since about late 2013, the fund has comfortably bet, uh, bet Nifty problems at all. And this is over three years, about 2,485 three-year returns. And uh, again, since uh, about April 2013, it has done reasonably well. Of course, there's been a little bit of slump in performance, but that does uh, more expected. And over 10 years, about 700, uh, 763 10-year data points, the fund has done well. Uh, it seems to have bet the Nifty comfortably over 10 years. And this is the rolling risk. I have a tool to, cal to calculate rolling risk and rolling returns. You, I can, you, the link is below. You can uh, do this for all the funds uh, yourself. Uh, this is not, it's not some magic or something special I'm doing. You can do it yourself for any, any fund that you want. And this is the rolling risk. So this means that the nifty risk has been here and the fund risk has been uh, a touch lower than that. And that's good enough. And that's pretty decent, I would say.
So if you look at the peers, uh, that is uh, funds in the same category, uh, Aditya Birla equity fund, Franklin India equity fund or Prima plus fund, Kotak standard multi-cap and ICICI multi-cap fund. So that's, those are the funds here. Um, these are, what are, what are these? These are five year returns. You can see that there's not much to say. They kind of pretty much everywhere. Uh, Franklin, the Franklin fund has done a little bit better in terms of consistent outperformance. And this is the risk. And in terms of risk, the Franklin has got the lowest risk. And our fund, ICICA Multicap, which is the yellow guy here, the yellow guy has been lower than the Nifty, but it's not the lowest in terms of risk, but that's okay. So Aditya Birla is the blue one, the dark blue one. I, I should not use dark blue one against black. That's kind of awful. Sorry about that. Uh, pink is Franklin and uh, Nifty is white. That's the risk. And it's, it's nothing special in terms of peers. And uh, it's just about, uh, just about, in neither too high nor too low. It's quite okay. So the question is, can this fund be the only fund in the portfolio? My my point is this. If you want to have a multi-cap fund in your portfolio, it must be the only fund in your portfolio. Otherwise, it will dilute its importance. And it has to be a proper true multi-cap fund, not just a large and mid-cap kind of fund, which many multi-cap funds with large AUM in this category are. So in that sense, this fund with a reasonably low AUM can be a decent multi-cap fund, but in the right balance, uh, predominant large cap, bit of mid caps and small cap. So that's what will suit most people. You can't have equal amounts of mid cap, small cap, large cap. That doesn't work. Uh, and it's a very quiet fund. It's unpopular. Not many people are talking about it. It's AUM is low. It is not built up. So if you are okay with this kind of fund, decent performance. Uh, it's not done badly at all. Its performance is pretty decent. And uh, if you're okay with this and if you like a, a fund which not many people are talking about, it's a quiet performer and its volatility is decent. Uh, uh, the downside protection is decent. Volatility is also reasonably low. Then you can certainly consider it. But don't add this to your portfolio. That doesn't, that cannot work. You you cannot add this as one of your funds in a portfolio. This will work for a new investor who um, who is looking for a multi-cap fund and know nothing else. Then it will work. So if, are you an investor in this fund? Please uh, comment below and what you think about this performance and uh, let me know any other questions you may have on portfolio management, investing or uh, if you have any fund requests, you can look at the uh, comment, the pinned comment, there's a link for, uh, uh, you can choose, you can add your own fund in the poll and vote for it and uh, I'll consider it, uh, I'll consider the fund in the next review. So that's what I have to say uh, in this week's review. I will catch you all uh, later.